Well, Jenny, we have some style news. You know, weddings are evolving and brides reports makeup isn't just for brides anymore. No, grooms like to get gussied up too. Hi. <laughs> makeup <laughs> artists, they say grooms are grooming more than ever from pre-wedding day skincare with a good facial to some makeup touches on the big day, like a little clear mascara on your upper lash or flesh tone eyeliner on the waterline. Make the groom look energized. Jenny, I know that you and Donnie, you renew your vows every single year, right? Every single year. Yes. That, that is I feel so like romantic. It's so great because we get to reconfirm our love and remind each other, you know, of the importance, the, the, not the rules, but the, the mandate of love that we, you know, promised each other. You know, but does he wear that. makeup? That was my question. Not only on our wedding, of course, you know, he's in the business, but yes. he's more of like a deficit kind of makeup guy. And this is where guys can get away with it. Like, for instance, he always says, I don't have any eyebrows. I, and, he, and he really doesn't have any, any eyebrows. Really? So he will actually use some eyebrow filler and I'm totally fine with it. So the good, bad and the ugly is I'm fine with guys wearing it as long as they don't steal your makeup. <laughs> as long as I think guys don't put on like mascara and, and like eyeliner. I feel like that gets a little rockery unless you're in a band. Um, but why not? It's a wedding day. They should also feel pretty too, you know? I'd love to see a show of hands from the men in the audience. Raise of hands, how many of you would like to be able to just do a little grooming, a little manscaping, a little zhuzhing? Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Oh, there's, oh, there's wives holding up husbands' hands. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you for that. Well, I just, you know, if it's there, gentlemen, use it, right? I'm not talking about a full lip and a blue eyeshadow, but if you got a little blemish, you're a fool if you don't cover it on your big day, okay? Yes. I, I think fool. that, I believe, and I do believe we're in, you know, a time where uh, it's so much more than ever anything goes. However, I do think that everybody it's the same as you could say getting dressed, you know, putting on something that makes you feel a little peacocky rather than a little dowdy. I think it's all, you know, part and parcel with just wanting to present yourself with a little more confidence and, and feeling good. You know what I say? What? Get the voices out of your head. Do whatever it takes yeah, for you to yes. get out of your own crap yes. and on to bigger things. And also, yes. It's your wedding day, too. Thank those pictures you. are going to last forever. You're going to have to look at those wedding photos every single time you pass your fireplace. Yes. So and let, me, let me ask the gentleman out there, you know, if your 1962 Firebird convertible was getting married and it had a nick on the fender, wouldn't you just put a little paint on it? Yes, you would. <laughs> Good so analogy. treat yourself like you would treat your prized possession. Thank you very much. I like that yes. analogy.